Today we are looking at a Bemis sewing line. This unit is equipped with a Union Special sewing head. Everything has been tested and serviced, checked over. This is the chain of the sewing head, so all of the mechanical components are in good shape. This unit chains off beautifully. It's a perfect chain of uh, sewing thread. You can see we've got two new spools above it here. goes up into the threading frame that helps guide the thread up off of the spool and then sends it down to the intakes on the sewing head. You can see this front guide here comes from the top left spool up here and then the rear guide comes from the back right spool. This head is clean. You can see the internal mechanisms. It's very clean. It's not covered in dust. We've got an oiler here. It's half full. In a minute we're going to show you this unit sewing. The belt on this unit is in good shape. We equipped this unit with this variable speed drive. So this on and off switch controls the conveyor motor. We are doing some work around here, so hopefully that background noise doesn't bother you. This knob right here adjusts the speed of the conveyor belt. I'll demonstrate that to you. We have this unit set up to turn on once you put your foot on the foot switch. It can be set up to run continuously and then turn off when you put your foot on the foot switch by opening up the cover and switching a couple of the uh, wires around on the switch terminals. So I'm going to push down on the foot switch. The belt will take off. It's running at full speed. Now of course as you use this unit uh, and you have a full bag of product that you want to sew up, you will have to adjust the speed of the conveyor to match the speed of the sewing head. That is done by turning this knob to the left to slow it down. You can see it's slowed uh, a lot down. Then you can turn it to the right and that will speed the conveyor belt up. Again, to adjust the speed, you just turn the knob to the left or to the right. And then of course it's set up for it to turn off if I let off of the foot switch. And then if I push down on it, it will start again. Again, that can be changed around to run continuously and then turn off when you hit the foot switch. It's all preference. Sewing head looks nice and clean. This right here is the bag that we've thoroughly tested the sewing head on. I will run this through a few more times so you can see this unit sewing. This unit does a great job. The stitching is in good shape. The stitching looks good. This unit does a great job. All right, now we're going to run this bag through the sewing head. Everything's working. This unit is sewing as it should. We can see the thread here. It's chained off properly. And if I pull out on the mechanism here, it'll continue. It'll continue to chain off like a machine gun. This unit is in great shape and is ready to sew. This is an all-round good unit. It's in good condition. It is ready to plug in and perform. This unit is powered by single-phase electric motors. 
Everything has been tested and is in good shape. The tracking of the conveyor belt has been adjusted. Now as it's used, that will need to be readjusted. This is an all-round nice unit, ready to go to work. Thank you for watching.